Well, hello friends. Welcome to the beautiful little city of Eastport, Maine. Eastport, Maine is actually the easternmost city in the United States. And so it has that distinction, but also it has the distinction of being an area that has been very rich in marine fisheries over the years. Uh, marine fisheries have sustained uh, this city as well as the one right across the bay from us, Lubeck, Maine. The two of those cities actually uh, frame Cobscook Bay. Cobscook Bay being a bay that uh, joins with Passamaquoddy Bay and the two of them are also part of course of the much larger Bay of Fundy. I want to talk to you a little bit about the fisheries around here though and we'll walk along and see a little bit more of Eastport. The biggest fisheries here have been uh, among others the, the uh, cod fishery is a big thing. For, uh, cod very popular for fish and ships and that sort of thing. But also, uh, there has been over the years, of course, uh, the famous lobster uh, fisheries in this area. Also, the area is very famous for crabs. In addition to that, scallops. Uh, scallops of various forms. And also, when you look around the bay here, and I'm going to show you parts here of Passamaquoddy Bay, uh, you have extensive mud flats because of the extensive tides. And those mud flats are great for the soft shell clams that uh, give us, of course, the famous New England clam chowder. Of course, we're in New England here. Speaking of the tides, you can look at uh, the marks on these wharfs and so forth, the piers, and you can see that we are down toward low tide now, but uh, you can see how high the tidal amplitude is. It goes up and down uh, for great distances here. So it makes it very challenging, but it also makes it very rich for food. Now, all of the fish that I just mentioned uh, the lobster, the cod, the crab, and so forth. Those are more near shore fisheries. But this area, of course, also has access to the larger Bay of Fundy and the Gulf of Maine. And so uh, it has been the home for uh, also fisheries from deeper water, uh, like the herring fishery. So herring, of course, uh, for, uh, are made into what we call sardines, usually put into cans and so on. And that makes up a big, big part of the fishery here, or it did in years past. I'll tell more of this story later when I have time, but uh, that all those fisheries have been very much impacted by the rise of aquaculture. And aquaculture in this area is mostly centered on salmon. I want you to look though at the beautiful area, know that in one form or another, aquaculture or other fisheries, uh, this still is a, an important place for bringing food to your table. So if you ever get a chance to get here, Please do. If not, eat some of the food from here. Take care.